Master Less Chemist, welcome to Cruise in the Narrow Road. I just wanted to do a review. I say review, give me my opinion on the HWK riding gear that I purchased back last winter uh, before the riding season. I did an unboxing video. My very first video on YouTube was an unboxing video of this gear. And so I want to do a review and let you know what I think of it. I've spent a lot of time in this gear. I've put 5,400 kilometers on the bike this year, spent long days uh, in the saddle, and uh, 90 plus percent of that riding was done in this gear. Now I'm an all the gear, all the time type of rider. Um, so I wear jacket and pants, boots, helmet, gloves, every time I go riding, with the exception of the odd run to the store or something local that uh, I might have just put the jacket, I didn't, didn't wear the pants, uh, just wore regular pants rather than, uh, rather than the, the riding pants. But 95, 98% of the time, I'm in full gear when I ride. And so I spent a lot of time in this gear, eight and 10 hour days in the saddle, uh, and over seven months of riding, 5,400 kilometers, I think now that I, I've been wearing it so long, I do have an opinion <laughs> of whether I have, is it good or is it not. Um, so why don't we go for a ride and I'll tell you what I think of the gear. HWK gear is awesome. Uh, I have zero complaints about it. Well, that's not true. I have one minor tiny little complaint that really could be my fault and not HWK's at all. But I'll get to that some uh, in time. The HWK gear comes with the pants and uh, I got bought the pants. They're actually, this is adventure gear. Uh, but it works well for uh, cruiser riding like I do touring. Uh, I bought the black pants and the high-vis jacket. Uh, the jacket is a three-quarter length jacket, so it comes down over your butt a little bit. And uh, both the, the jacket and the pants have armor. The, uh, the, the, uh, the pants have armor in the, in the, uh, in the knees, and the, uh, the jacket has armor in the back the elbows and the shoulders and uh, you know it might not be the most armored jacket around it might not be the uh, biggest and bestest <laughs> but it is quality gear for a very budget price I've told you before if you watch the very first video and I'll link that up here uh, if you watch the very first video on the HWK gear when I unboxed it back in April actually it was probably in February I did that I got it uh, I said I was impressed with how it felt, how it looked then, but that well, I hadn't tried it. Well, I've been riding all summer. I started in early April uh, in the cold weather like it is today, and I rode all the spring, all the summer, and uh, now well into the fall. We are very getting very close to the end of riding season here. Uh, if I make it to the end of October in riding season, I've done really well. And uh, so uh, right now the temperature is 7, 8 degrees and it's looking like it's going to stay, stay around that, maybe get a couple of days a little higher than that uh, over the next while, the next couple of weeks. But uh, man, I, it's just been an extended riding season for us and I'm really thankful. But the riding gear, the HWK gear has been really, really good. Um, in the wind and the cold, it really sheds the wind really well. You don't feel froze to death. Uh, I did get chilled on one ride uh, recently. It was about eight or nine degrees that day and a long day. And I didn't have the sweater on. I just had the, uh, the long sleeve t-shirt on. And so when I stopped for lunch, I was chilled. And uh, we sat in a restaurant for a while. I got a cup of tea, ate some nice dinner. And then we, uh, I put a fleece on, which I had brought with me, and I was fine. So, you know, if, if this gear is good for the Newfoundland spring and fall, uh, for warmth, uh, man, it's got to be good. 
you know the jacket has a zip out liner the pants don't but the pants are good i find they breathe fine they both have ventilation zippers in them the pants have it on on the leg i don't know if you can see it here because of me riding but they have uh they have vented uh, vents in the in the upper thighs and uh, those do a good job of letting the air in now they are black and they they are they the coolest pants in the summer no they're not uh you're gonna sweat a bit you know that that's well you know you're gonna ride full gear you're gonna sweat i don't care what gear you're using um but i could zip out the liner in the jacket and the jacket has uh vents as you can see in in the uh, upper chest in the arms and one in the uh through the back now i was a little bit dumb when i first started using it um because i forgot to open the vent in the back to let the air blow through the jacket and it was getting a bit puffy on the road blowing up under my chin and uh, was interfering with my helmet and my movement of my head and stuff because it was it was inflating the jacket and once i opened that <laughs> at the air out it was good uh you know what it, the armor is good the the I, i've been in some small it's light showers now heavy rain in it but i never got wet through i was in the fog in ramya where it was very damp and misty and i was fine there uh because my bike had to sit outside with no cover on it um uh in in ramya my seat got wet everywhere the stitching was in the in the saddleman seat water soaked through into the inside so when you sat on the seat or pushed on the seat you would see water uh come out of the seams it got pretty wet and uh you know i was gonna have to ride that and i did ride it and it never soaked through my behind it never soaked through the seat did dry out it's fine i didn't have any trouble drying it out but uh it, uh, my seat was not wet my butt was not wet from sitting on that so the waterproofing has done really well i am super happy with this uh with the jacket with the pants the only problem i had and this could have been me uh, it might have been faulty it might have been me so i don't i won't i won't hang it on hwk but when you zip the liner in and you put the sleeves in there's little buttons and loops down at the cuffs to uh fasten the the button the uh the liner into the sleeve and they're just little elastic loops that you put the button through and i guess i pulled a little hard on it didn't realize it was attached and and i did pop one of those little loops off like i say that might have been just my stupidity uh more than hwk's fault but you know what hwk is budget gear um i've seen other youtubers wear hwk gear one that comes to mind is chris of two wheels big life she wears an hwk jacket and has been wearing it for a long time uh and i have not heard any complaints uh about it um you know it it might not match up to the to the gear that you know by revit or or some of the gear revzilla puts out climb gear stuff like that it it's i paid 75 dollars for the jacket i think it was 75 or 80 dollars for the jacket 75 or 80 dollars for the pants when it when i ordered it on amazon they uh also because hwk comes out of the us and i live in canada there was an import charge and they charged an extra oh, 30 40 dollars for shipping and and um and import charges into canada which is above and beyond their you know control like they can't control that but when it was imported into canada the fees were less for some reason than that and hwk did not have to tell me the difference but hwk refunded me all that money i think it was 30 or 40 dollars they refunded me the import charge and some of the shipping or whatever it was i can't remember the exact thing but it had to do with the import charges the duty charges it did they didn't use it all the to port to ship it to me so they gave me they refunded that money back 
Let me tell you, friends, that is good business. I will do more business with HWK because uh, of just the stellar business practice and the honest business practice that I saw there. Now, that's my only experience with HWK, and maybe you've had a, a, a different experience. Maybe you haven't had a good experience, and I hope that's not true. But for me personally, and I can only speak for myself, and, and what I have heard and what I know from experience, I have not had any problem, and I was pleased with the gear. I've been super pleased with the gear, and I've been super pleased with the with that kind of customer service that they would refund uh, a fee that they I had willingly paid, but they didn't end up spending it, so they gave it back to me. That's good business, my friends. I really, really appreciate that. So this is a big shout out to HWK. The way the gear fastens around my boots, uh, the way it fits over clothes, the way it uh, straps the the Velcro straps around the the cuffs, the the way it fastens up uh, the the Velcro and the zippers, the overlap around the chin around the neck, everything to me has been good. When I first got it, I wondered how it would feel. Uh, with the armor on the knees and I found it just slightly uncomfortable when I first got the, the first got it but what I've thought about as I, I looked at it I thought yeah like anything it probably needs to be broken in well since that time I have since April April the 8th I believe it was when I got the bike out I have put on just about 5,000 kilometers on the bike I've ridden about 5,000 kilometers this season, which is more than I've ever done, and I am just super, super happy with the HWK gear. It is phenomenal, uh, and I've got really no complaint worth speaking of, no complaint at all, and I'm into it for under 200 bucks, under 200 dollars. Now, I wear the high-vis for highway riding, and I love the high-vis. I have noticed a difference, personally, in my visibility and how vehicles respond and see me. Uh, I've had fewer incidents of, of cars pulling out in front of me, and, and uh, that, could, that seemed to be uh, attributed to lack of visibility. If you want to do, get some real knowledge on visibility and, and how to help yourself with being visible on a bike, go to uh, MC Rider. Uh, he's out of Dallas, Texas, and he, will, uh, he has some really good uh, tips on being visible, riding visible, and, uh, and, and, and being visible on the street. And you know what? One of the things that will really help is a high-vis jacket. Now, I don't think you need to wear a high-vis jacket all the time. I mean, I, that's, you know, it is very bright. I don't mind it. I like it. But I'm also looking at getting another jacket from HWK. I'm looking at uh, a, a black, solid black jacket with some, uh, with some reflective uh, striping in it. And, uh, you know what, because there's times that I don't just run around town and stuff. I don't feel like I want the high-vis jacket still might be good but I'd like to have something a little less uh, bright at times and uh, but I, I'm so I'm looking at ordering another jacket and uh, I, I have no qualms about doing that you know money is tight so I'm not ordering it today maybe I'll ask for it for Christmas but uh, I am going to get a, another jacket I'm looking at some of their other gear um, I don't know I don't know if there's anything else to buy but I like the I like this this gear that I'm that I'm wearing now. I really do. So if you uh, agree with me, disagree with me, uh, tell me your experience. Leave a comment down below and tell me what you think of HWK gear. It is budget. I'll give you that. But uh, sometimes you don't have to pay a, a lot of money to get decent quality. So let me know what you think. Yeah, leave a comment. Don't forget. If you haven't subscribed to Cruising the Narrow Road, why don't you hit that subscribe button? And don't forget, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and so that uh, it helps 
and with our visibility <laughs> just like the hive and jacket the thumbs up and a subscription does help that the visibility on youtube it helps us, our videos to be seen by more uh, the longer you watch the more you watch so cruise the narrow road the more it helps our channel grow and uh, so if you have not subscribed please subscribe give the video a thumbs up don't forget to uh, hit that little bell icon when you subscribe too so you get the uh, get notified when there is uh, new videos coming out thanks for watching today may God bless you have a great day